Somewhere between West Des Moines, Winterset, and Van Meter in northeastern Madison County, a 700-plus acre state recreation area holds natural and historic treasures. Come along with Notes on Iowa as we explore Badger Creek State Recreation Area. During the early 1950s, Ralph Harvey, local farm planner for the Soil and Conservation Office in Winterset, organized efforts to form the county's third official watershed around Badger Creek. Soon after, public meetings and studies followed for Badger Creek in order to qualify for federal approval of a soil conservation and flood prevention project throughout the watershed. As the project developed, the Watershed Committee expanded out the initial watershed of 18,000 acres to include 38,000 acres. In 1959, the Winterset Madisonian reported to quote, authorization from Washington means the state watershed planning party will now be able to go ahead, end quote, with a project involving nearly 40,000 acres in northeastern Madison, Dallas, Warren, and Jefferson counties. Authorized under the Watershed Protection and Flood Prevention Act, the Secretary of Agriculture signed off on the project of the U.S. Soil Conservation Service. The following year, congressional approval and funding paired with local efforts to found the Badger Creek Club to move the project closer to reality. During the early 1960s, extensive agricultural-related work took place throughout the watershed, and by 1963, officials started seriously considering the possibility of creating a 275-acre lake in northeastern Madison County. Although the original plan featured an 80-acre lake, Iowa Conservation Commission officials entered the conversation to discuss helping finance the project in order to provide for recreational opportunities close to Iowa's capital city. While other major projects facilitating outdoor recreation opportunities for Iowans took precedence over the course of the 1960s and 1970s, most notably the development of Sailorville and Big Creek projects, Badger Creek waited due to inflated land costs and other difficulties in the specific local area. However, construction finally got underway in October of 1979 on a small dam according to the Winterset Madisonian. In 1980, a series of public meetings helped to develop plans for the park as water started to fill behind the now-completed earthen dam. Crews constructed several initial fishing jetties and Badger Creek State Recreation Area slowly started to come to light. In 1985, a potential major boost for development through Iowa lottery funds providing up to a million dollars for the construction of boat ramps, fishing jennies, and other minor amenities came through. However, significant development of other recreational opportunities in the area led officials to scale back plans in order to focus on establishing fish and wildlife habitat at the site. The Iowa Conservation Commission worked to stock and maintain fish populations, even going so far as to allow for quote-unquote promiscuous fishing by Iowa State Code, a practice where limits and harvest regulations are lifted a specific body of water to allow fish to be taken by, to quote, any means except by use of dynamite, end quote. A lake drawdown, fish kill, and restocking efforts all soon followed the promiscuous fishing ordinance. In 1990, Resource Enhancement and Protection or REAP funding helped encourage conservation practices in the agricultural drainage above the lake, and other projects have worked to reestablish prairie plant populations at the site. In recent years, a four-acre patch of sunflowers has drawn annual crowds hoping for photos while also providing a draw for wildlife to the hunting-friendly recreation area. Today, Badger Creek State Recreation Area offers visitors a variety of opportunities to enjoy the outdoors in Madison County. Easy access awaits anglers from boat ramps flanking the east and west sides of the 276-acre lake. Jetties offer an alternative option for groundbound fishermen hoping to hook bass, crappie, bluegill, or catfish on the lake. Small game and waterfowl hunters also find luck in the roughly 700 acres of public hunting land adjacent to the lake. Other nature lovers can observe a variety of birds and prairie plants while enjoying all the recreation area has to offer. Next time you find yourself looking to get out and enjoy Iowa's public lands, consider a stop at Badger Creek State Recreation Area. A truly stunning representation of Iowa's natural beauty and a testament to the necessity of maintaining opportunities to get outdoors for all Iowans, Badger Creek State Recreation Area shines a must-visit for all people hoping to see Iowa slowly. Thanks for coming along with Notes on Iowa to explore Badger Creek State Recreation Area. 
Make sure to subscribe to the notes on our website, subscribe on YouTube, follow on social media, and tune in each Sunday to explore the history of Iowa State parks, preserves, and other public lands. I hope I'll see you out there. There's a lot of good history about Iowa, a lot of people don't even know about.